really hear me, bitch. Nah, I don't complain. Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain. Mambo Jumbo, my lovely people, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> if you are new, <laughs> thank you to all my returning subscribers, please. Everybody feel at home because we are here, of course, to talk about who? <laughs> the Maras. <laughs> you guys are surprised, eh? Because you were thinking I was going to speak about who specifically. All right, so now, first of all, before we even go any further, today I just need everything chop chop. I've got no time, okay? Let us first of all give a round of applause because the Maras have finally decided to get a house help. Guys, you know that I have been championing for this thing for a pretty long time. <laughs> Very long time. And finally, let us just say that I finally will not see Comrade's dad running around into the farms looking for vegetables to come cook for his grown up kids. And also, Comrade's mom is going to rest when she comes home at least from her work on Friday evening, Saturday and Sunday. She's going to get some rest. It's been a long time coming guys and there's this lady who's come to this house even though Debbie Junior doesn't want to tell us that this is a house manager, <laughs> we already can see. Now that is not the main reason why we are here. I'm here to talk about Debbie Junior and how he's treated this lady so far because what the hell was that? So we back home, I just woke up, as I've said, I'm not feeling well guys, you know, new haircut. <laughs> so that time to meet our special visitor, and for me I'm grateful for what life is. So let's go and meet our visitor. Are you ready for this? Debo, here. Yeah, guys, we're just grateful. Let's see what's up here. Okay, I have no idea what's inside here. Ah, oh, chapati. Oh, man. Okay, here. This rice right here. Okay. Eh. Oh, let's check this one again. Okay, this one. Oh, this is beans right here. This water and maybe okay. Let me check what's inside here. This is a uh, porridge, eh? <laughs> guys. I'm looking for our visitor, and uh, this is our living area. So our neighbor just saw me recording, and she ran. Not our neighbor, our visitor. She saw me recording and she ran away. So I'm telling her, I'm just, I just came to say hello to her. So this is our dog. Huh? It looks healthy. Uh, there is another one right here. Uh, there's our outside kitchen. Okay, let's meet our neighbor. More at all. Not our neighbor, our visitor. Hey, I'm so confused. More at all. We're going to recording your videos. Okay. Meet our visitor. Say my hello. <laughs> She's camera shy, but she's Vic. Bye. Bono shy. So I'm asking her why is she shy? I'm all just uh, <laughs> guys, she's our visitor. She came all along and uh, she came to stay with us here. So Mimi Hindo Kaziang. So I'm telling her this is my work so that I always do. First in your kitchen cool bus in cool. Hi. Hi, and the cooker mess. I just told her she served for me food because I'm kind of hungry. So now David Jr. is here, of course not feeling well. He started the day with going and having a haircut. <laughs> and he comes back home, takes a nap, wakes up, food is ready, goes ahead to inspect the food and what has been laid out on their dining table as usual. Rice, chapati, and for I think the first time, beans because we are used to green grass after this 
he says let me go introduce our guest because he's not brought her out to the camera this lady is outside she's just doing her thing you know like and he goes out there to look for her she's running away because she's afraid of the camera she is shy and i think she knows that she's going to be on camera or something of the sort so i'm thinking like david jr is going to actually welcome her you know we know her name and welcome her to his channel so that we know exactly who she is <laughs> ladies and gentlemen david jr tells this lady come serve me food <laughs> <laughs> hey <laughs> come serve me food guys <clears throat> I, I don't exactly know what to say like as an adult <laughs> now we are here telling our nannies to come serve you food because who's been serving you food before has congrats mom be serving you at times have you been serving yourself when you get food on the table yes so why is our new house help coming to serve you food i think i said nani before sorry house help why is our new house help coming to serve you food as who guys i've got some comments here and i think i'll be reading them before we proceed because I really do not understand people at times okay and david jr has this way of just annoying me <laughs> and some of his subscribers <laughs> for no reason this person says you can't serve yourself pick a plate and do the necessary banner this is sad this is someone else under that comment this is sad can you imagine the food was already in the dishes on the table and yet could not serve himself this is bossing and enslaving someone davy please behave like an educated civilized and independent citizen someone else did say he is a bush guy what do you expect his bush mentality is on another level wake up davy you are disgracing yourself and your parents making them look small someone else did say really you left the food on the table went outside and asked a visitor to serve you unbelievable a response to that he said she was a visitor guess he didn't tell the truth that they or he brought her there as a maid now guys a maid in kenya is a house help is a house manager all right so <laughs> hey i was looking at this guy and i could not believe exactly what was happening it hit me different and i was like wow like you can't actually just serve your food so what is she going also to do take bathing water for you heat it and carry it for you to the bathroom or what exactly is david jr trying to do here i really got mad and i was like it do it doesn't get better with these people like what exactly is wrong this girl has come to help with the house chores <laughs> so she's serving you she's supposed to be feeding you as well guys why do we behave like this are you shocked by what you've just seen for me it was actually in bad taste and of course she served him all right served him and then she excused herself she goes outside now david jr carries his plate <laughs> goes outside with that food to feed the dogs uh, so i just said thank you for the food <laughs> mm -hmm. so this is the food right here so i have to pray for it thank you god for this provision when i take it in jesus name we pray amen you know it's a good way of appreciating yeah so she told me there is a um, tea but for me i prefer porridge because i'm feeling unwell right now um under medication guys you know yeah the crazy thing there is no electricity in home more than two months right now but we we just survive eh? so this is the porridge here uh -uh, chapati. Uh -uh, chapati snack. Chapati, this one 
proteins. Eh? Ah. So this video, it was just a random video. I didn't plan even a uh, <laughs> even eh, eh, eh. look guys our dogs are right there at the door. Look at our dogs. Right there at the door. <laughs> Okay. Look at our dogs. I think they are kind of hungry. They need food. Mm. So, I think our dogs are kind of hungry. For sure, our dogs are very hungry. Very. Even they have come inside the house. So I have to share the food with the dogs because hey, So this is my food. I have to share with the dogs because them too use blood, you know. You have to take care of the animals too. Okay. What's the amoka? Go slowly. <laughs> Go slowly. Uh, guys, let me let me set the camera from this angle. Hey, the dogs are kind of mad. Hey, pole pole. Pole pole is slowly. So guys, I'm trying to set my camera maybe from this angle right here. So I have to divide food for the dogs. Hey, pole pole. Slowly. Guys, our dogs are so hungry. So, hey, I'll put okay, just uh, divide uh, food for the dogs, and me, I'll eat these because even I don't have that appetite to eat. Okay, Jibambe, enjoy. Huh? <laughs> okay, uh, I have to divide. Uh, I have to divide, guys. Okay. The dogs are right there enjoying. Dogs now, they are settled. Yeah. Well, let's take care of our dogs. You know, because they provide security here. Okay. So, let's go and enjoy food. <laughs> A good thing I had already prayed. Yeah. It may have come from a positive or, a, you know, from, you know, probably he wanted to feed the dogs, but you've asked this lady to serve you. Then you carry this plate with your food, rice and beans, running outside to look for Bosiamboka's feeding basins and pour that food in there for these dogs. Guys, it hurt me so much. I don't know how she took it probably she didn't actually look into it so much but from where i stand that is being rude so what was the difference you could have told her to serve the dogs do you understand so why go outside pour that food in the dog's basins and leave just a small portion of what you were served by your new house help and you come back and tell her oh i fed the dogs and sit down and eat. Personally, as a viewer, I was really hurt. It really, it hit me very hard, just looking at how he is trying to belittle this human being who's come on here to help them with house chores. Now guys, there's a lot to talk about when it comes to how people treat uh, house helps. There's been lots of debates, of course, starting from these guys are uh, you know paid little money to look after your kids after your house do your laundry you know the whole thing of just doing house chores and especially when a baby is involved just it's an example i'm giving you guys now we are not in david jr's compound okay and such stories really sadden me especially when someone is looking down upon another person to me i don't look at it in good light like i really don't accept it i hate it now you guys come on here thinking i hate this family i don't it's their deeds and i hate what he did to this girl 
you will not as a whole human being <laughs> who's capable of serving yourself go out because now you have a nanny to help you in your house chores boss her around to come and serve you food as who and you sit down and wait for her to serve you food like <laughs> hello so how else are you going to be treating this girl in this household Michele Ponte was on here when they treated him bad and he actually came out to say that they were allegedly mistreating the house help that was there starting from where she sleeps she sleeps in a very bad condition with fruits and vegetables in a room filled with fruit flies because some of that food in there is going bad it made me sad okay because ah, I really don't understand some things anymore like no you don't treat a person like that you actually do not treat a human being like that because one you are not a child you are a whole full <laughs> human being 22 years old allegedly with a convertible an acquired piece of land that you just got the other day someone who can make their own decisions this lady is here to help with the house chores. Guys, you can imagine then what else will go on if they can display such a thing on camera. My mind was just running wild. I was like, whoa, <laughs> what is happening? I can't imagine what I'm seeing. Like, my heart stopped. Like, the moment he said, come serve me food, you actually go outside to look for a person to come into the house to serve you food. <laughs> Simply because she is a house help simply because you can't serve yourself i don't know what you think guys please leave your comments down below <laughs> eh, 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 this life this life this life treat your house helps the way you want to be treated they are coming there to help you around the house. They are not your servants. Okay, so now guys, a jump tour story. Now we've been talking about jump tours for a while now. Of course, we know what has happened. Okay, jump tours is back with his story and we've had this story here a million times. Okay. People have spoken about this issue where Dim Wango actually scammed. Let me just say, allegedly scammed <laughs> this guy of his money because he did put in his money and sent her some money in partnership so that they start an Airbnb where in Gara. If you come from Nairobi, of course, you know. Now, there are videos that this Dim Wango put on. Uh, her youtube she's done a couple of videos one when she was moving or she was giving us a house tour when she was moving in when david jr was there so today is a very happy day in my life because guys guess what i finally moved out from my parents beautiful house you know I feel really nice because now after school, now I have to know how to stand by my own, do my things, just just see how life goes about. And I'm really excited because I finally decided to settle here in Nairobi, Kenya, which is the capital city of Kenya, because I feel Nairobi is located at this uh, at a very central place where I'll be able to travel to different parts of the world and then come back home. But that doesn't mean I'll never go home, okay? <laughs> and I don't mean like I'm getting married or something. Just decided to have this small, beautiful place for myself. And also when I'm not around, I feel uh, I wanna lease it out as an Airbnb. So guys, for those who wanna be coming to Kenya, I have a beautiful place that I'm I'm going to furnish which i'm going to show you in a minute how it looks like so always feel free to contact me okay i want to be leaving my airbnb link in the description box and uh yeah i haven't decided how much i'll be charging yet but i want to let you know when i finish to furnish it so i'm really excited oh my god that's a feeling now when you're a grown-up lady and you want to do things for yourself <laughs> anyway guys i know you're really 
excited to know how the house looks like and everything and how I want to furnish and therefore without further ado let me get to show you how it looks let's check out the master bedroom but it's just opposite okay so guys welcome and this is how it looks uh, this uh, carpet is just placed here temporarily but actually I want to take it to the living area but I just love the color of this mat of the carpet then here I have my queen size bed also bought some classy duvets white in color and the mattress is really of good size and quality actually I bought it from Dr. Mattress let me show you you see like really the best quality bought from Dr. Mattress okay so for me having an Airbnb the bedding is gonna be pure white this one I just bought it temporarily because David was staying here <laughs> But you can see them the bed, really beautiful. And also when Congrats Ma came to, you know, see this apartment of Dimwango and she was on there praying for this apartment and in my head I was thinking, does she know that this was a partnership gone sour? And not only that guys, it's a partnership in the air. <laughs> because on document there's nothing like partnership. So just in case you are new, this is just a crash course, okay? So this guy sends money to Jim Wango. They have this agreement that they are going to be partnering in this Airbnb business. She sends her money. First of all, she sends her 200,000 Kenya shillings to do what? To start buying things or items for this apartment. Just a second, let me confirm something, okay? Alright, so now when he was sending this 200,000 Kenya shillings, which he did, this was the first payment that he sent to Dim Wango, David Jr. was in this house and he sent her this money for rent and to get the first set of things in that house, okay? <laughs> and uh, that is when now Dim Wango uh, bought a carpet, a bed and those, were they cream uh, curtains? Yeah that is what you know she got for the house with that money plus paying the rent now david jr was in this house and he's the one who actually was helping dim wango moving into this apartment so that is why when john tour says that he had a very good relationship with david jr and the reason why he contacted david jr when dim wango and uh what's his name mara blocked him he had no option but to call david jr and ask him like yo what's up this and this is going on are you aware like how should i you know go around this issue and now that is when david jr came out to tell him that you can talk to the reactors <laughs> i see women talking about my sister on the internet you can talk to them so that he solves this issue or you know he also gave an option of his parents you can talk to the parents call my parents or get yourself a lawyer so now that is the last conversation that Jam Tours had with David Jr. If you go to his YouTube channel, guys, I've been playing his clips today. I don't want to play his clips. Go ahead and go to his channel, Jam Tours Africa, and watch this evidence from his side, okay? He's started doing these videos all over again. Now, the first time he comes here, when he's sending this money, the agreement is, I hope I'm not confusing you, the agreement is that they start a business and it's in partnership and they're going to be sharing the what the profit okay so good so he sends in the cash and when he sends in the cash this girl who's the uh dim wango is supposed to register this airbnb business under her names of course it's a partnership and jump tours but what does Dim Wango do? Dim Wango goes ahead and just writes her name and she is in charge of this Airbnb business a hundred percent yet. It was funded by Jump Tours himself. So by the time Jump Tours is finding out these people are now running around, not giving him answers, he actually put in the first client who he says was a full-time client but he was not getting this money he was not getting part of the profit from this place by the time he notices that he is not on the list because of course our guy is from jamaica <laughs> these two siblings marwa de mwango have ran fleet and cannot be found anywhere they've blocked him on all social media platforms so now the only time that dimongo unblocks jump towards is when she is sending him a what 
a demand letter from her lawyer because this guy had done videos and i'll put this letter that she sent him on your screen if you really want to read you can screenshot it and uh, he was being accused of defamatory <laughs> defamatory shenanigans okay because now when he came out to say that uh avoid doing business with dim wango and i am Maro in kenya my airbnb airbnb apartment got scam and also another video that he uh, was quoted here i am Maro. please let's talk about my investment at midtown apartment at david jr at dim wango so of course you can see that he tagged all these people so now they felt like you know what this guy is defaming us this is going to be bad for our brand so now they send him this uh, letters through their lawyer okay and now he receives them and he does whatever he's supposed to do within seven days he pulled down all these videos amen it looks nice mm -hmm. and i like the room mm -hmm. i like the, the carpets mm -hmm. i also like the, the floor mm -hmm. i like the chair the dining table mm -hmm. even the kitchen the way it looks like mm -hmm. hey wow it looks nice congratulations thank you <laughs> Congratulations. This is the kitchen. Yeah, well organized. The cooker. So uh, please come here and enjoy this room one day. Yeah, we have the microwave right yeah. there. In fact, you see the curtains, they look nice. Uh -huh. Yeah, congratulations. In fact, the place looks nice. And clean. And clean. Uh -huh. So we are inviting some of you to come here and make a visit. To this wonderful uh, place and clean. Mm -hmm. I like them so much. Mm -hmm. I'll enjoy this place. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, I'm encouraging others also to to come mm -hmm. and stay in this nice place. Switch on the lights. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Wow. It looks wonderful. Yeah. Well decorated, well made. Mm -hmm. The light is right there. Oh, wow. There are also other colors. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I like this place. Hmm? I'm so sorry. My heart. <laughs> it looks nice. Eh? Eh, very nice. Congratulations. Uh -huh. This is where you keep your clothes and clothes. Those are just my temporal bags. Oh, they look nice and clean. Uh -huh. They look nice, they smell water. Mm -hmm. Good. Clean. Very clean water. Mm -hmm. uh, the towels. Very clean. Also, hot shower. They are here. Yeah, everything. Everything is okay. okay. Welcome to my new apartment. Yes. <laughs> I'm surprised. It's my first time mm -hmm. to be here. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Uh, they had walked up to this level. It's now when I'm surprised. So guys, even you, you can make it outside there. It is just with determination and hard work. Everything can be met and accomplished. Yeah. Mango is working so hard. Thank it's you. Surprise. Yeah, I always work hard because I'm so scared of what you call poverty. And uh, I always trust when you work hard, God blesses the work of your hands and you get all that you're looking for in this world. Yes. Yes. Oh, this one is now where? Well, the washing is done. Mm -hmm. We are now cleaning clothes, washing clothes. There's a washing machine. <laughs> hey, congratulations. <laughs> hey, this is, you just switch on. Yeah. And then it cleans everything. Yeah. Well, how does how do you open? You remember you used to tell me one day I'll be having a washing machine, cooking on a cooker. You remember when we used to cook in our old home? Yeah. In our rainy kitchen. This is the first time to see this washing machine. In fact, we didn't have one. Yes. This day grew up. This is the first time I'm seeing a, a, a washing machine. <laughs> Yeah, it's true. You see, it's it's good to say the truth. Yes. Oh. 
<laughs> yeah, so this is my washing machine where I do the laundry. Actually, it's the best, guys. It's the best this washing machine ever. For a thousand US dollars, one hundred thousand Kenyan shillings. Oh, it's so nice. Yeah, it's very, very good. So this is the laundry area. All right. So now, recently, fast forward. What happens is. Jam Tours has really wanted to talk to Dim Wango and uh, Mara to solve this case outside court, like not involve people in this case, but these people don't want to, you know, be on the same boat. So now he sends Dim Wango a demand letter. Dim Wango, like he says, has not yet responded or done anything. She's not said anything. So these lawyers that they used to send this letter to Jam Tours according to me could be a fake person let us just say like that because if they had a lawyer in this case then i'm thinking that this lawyer would have responded to the demand letter from jump tours so now she's never responded she's not said anything as at we are right now he wants to send another demand letter he's working on it and if that is not of course responded to again things are going to escalate. So now that's why I'm saying this issue now has escalated to now the law being applied and you know, I'm happy that it's taking that cause because if actually Jam Tours has all the evidence, all the receipts that he sent this lady some money, then he has to show it, he has to prove it. And that's all the information I can give you right now. Now, I'll be going to another angle of this story, okay? Because I've had a one-on-one -on -one with our very own <laughs> founder of the lazy gang mr marwa on this issue when he did comment on one of my videos i was on here saying that your marwa do not be very lazy in this ivan and dylan's house in the u.s you're just new and we've not seen you do any chores in this house it really touched the heart of marwa and he commented <laughs> on my comment section <laughs> chap chap among the first five people and said is this how desperate you are for content get a life and i thought wow what an opportunity now to ask this guy very serious questions and i did ask him mara i asked you let us not even asking i said to you please could we talk about jam tours and midtown apartments guys it was so late that i was feeling so sleepy and i just closed my eyes for two seconds and i thought ah I had written the founder of the lazy girl a message i need to check exactly if he's responded because who knows probably we can start talking about jump tours and behold guys by the time i was opening my eyes marwa had taken his comment out of my carbon chop chop he had deleted that comment of his quickly simply because i didn't ask about jump tours now i stand here and say that there's a reason for one why marwa deleted that message and this is not the only message is deleted there's a time again uncle mo was on reactors the day when all this story of the seat toilet brought issues right here on youtube and marwa went on there you see marwa runs because uncle mo is talking about reactors now he's never spoken to uncle mo all these years he's called him names he's lazy they don't want to associate with him and especially because now david jr came to help uncle mo he didn't want anything to do with uncle mo for a pretty long time but simply because uncle mo has mentioned reactors on that video he runs there to tell him that i told you to keep off these people they are in no good they don't wish you well blah 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 and jam to us saw that and he wrote marwa asking him about his apartment again what did marwa do to that comment deleted the comment vanished jump to us again not able to get a hold of marwa so why is Mara running away from questions about jump tours right here on social media you blocked this guy you don't want to talk to him what exactly do you want him to do he's been civil enough mature enough waiting for you guys two years down the line nothing is happening and you guys expect him to keep silent he's going to talk the one number one reason why people get and it's not the first time they are doing my sister like that I really want to do that. I will not say because I don't have to this also. You want to say I'm true for my sister like 
Mm-hmm. Now this guy hates me. He goes to the internet saying, oh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, Marwa did this to me. Marwa took my money. It's all a hoax. Hoax. I have no time for, for small money like this, bro. If you're watching this. Yes, I'm watching. I'm watching to right now. My sister, and my sister went found a lawyer mm-hmm. and yes. I told him let's meet in court he went quiet yes. I see him quiet. shouting here and then yes. and he knows he can be prosecuted he knows because he has no proof of anything okay and the funny thing is also my sister some men will pretend to be rich to just reach you all right family so as you can see that's that's the words of the mouth of his mouth am I refuse a man answer me answer me answer jam tours family as it is right now jam tours has decided you know what the law is the only way that we sort this issue and i'm glad that he is taking that path because it's been a long time coming so i'm really wishing that dim wango responds to the demand letter that will be sent again <laughs> dim wango if you're watching this respond to that letter the demand letter that you're going to get from jam tours because if you don't then something serious is going to be happening that's all i can say do i hate the marrows of course i don't <laughs> i'm here giving them advice am i not <laughs> anyway guys i don't know what you think i mean it's there's just so much this jam tours saga i really do hope that it comes to an end because wow this guy has suffered in this kenya and him being from Jamaica, I think they're taking an opportunity and a chance. And of course, the first time they were just trying to scare him, you know, just shake him. Because one, they can. Number two, they know that he can't do anything because he's a foreigner just fresh into the country. Pretty sad. It's a, it's a sad situation, but I really do hope that justice will be served. Jump to us, I really do hope that you get through with this case and you get back what was yours because you've been a patient man this far. So I really do wish the best for you. All right, so now guys, please leave your comments down below if you're not subscribed and would love to subscribe. Please always feel free to do so and I will definitely catch you in my next video. Bye-bye.